What's up, everybody? One broke millennial here. Uh, I'm basically doing this YouTube uh, YouTube channel to document my journey to financial freedom. Uh, along the way, I will be making some extremely risky moves to see what happens. Uh, so, in saying that, I'm not a financial advisor. This is strictly for entertainment purposes. Uh, do your own research. Please do your own research. Don't follow along with what I'm doing because you will fail hard with my luck. Like, I have no luck whatsoever. Like, if I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck. So, um, I jumped into Vortex with some money that I had from Time Wonderland. I love Time Wonderland. Like, Time Wonderland is, this is basically the project that I believe in the most. So, I have... $1,500 in it. I took out $388 or something like that from Time Wonderland and I put it into Vortex. Because what I really want to do is like if I get profit, right, take about, take out that initial investment, put that back into Time Wonderland. Let it, let it keep going. And then whatever I have in here, just let it ride. See what happens. See when it, if it pulls, if it doesn't pull, cool. You know, like if, if I can make a nice little profit to take out, um, I will I will take out some profit, but that doesn't mean I will remove everything because it's like forty six day runway. And like I I really want to test this out to see see what happens. Uh, but anyway, so vortex this is the new thing uh, happens on the sixteenth. Today is the eighteenth. Currently the price is thirty four ninety eight. When I bought it, it was at thirty eight dollars. So I already lost some already lost some percentage like eight percent on on my money. Uh, anyway. So 15, is that 8%? That's not 8%. I don't know. I don't, I don't know math. Anyway, the backing price is 15 bucks to uh, this, the regular price is $34.98. Market cap is $3 million. The treasury balance is $1 million currently with an APY of 220 trillion. And you can see the total supply, which is uh, 99,000, and the total state, which is 33,000. So you got Space Mem. You can uh, you can bond any of this stuff. I didn't do any bonding because I didn't want to be locked in for four days. I, I just don't. Like, that's, that part scares me. I don't want to be locked in for four days where I can't withdraw my money. I mean, of course, you can still withdraw your bonds, right? But you won't get any of the rewards for, for doing so. So I figure if I can stake some and if I see something happening that's just kind of weird, then I could just take my money out and hopefully, you know, it won't be in a total loss because I've, I would have rebased in that time of uh, removing my money. But anyway, so I showed you the AVAX reflections that they started out with. That was the thing that they used to get initial investment, which is cool. Uh, I don't think time did that a few other others didn't do that so that was that's something kind of unique to uh, to vortex uh, so the documentation is up here what is the vortex dial uh, it's not uh, not another own fork aggressively seeking new ways to provide value for our members by holding bonding and stakings space tokens you become a member of the dial so basically you can vote you know whenever they set that up it's not set up yet but you can end up voting on what the treasury does eventually. And then where possible, we will also send out a portion of our profits back to holders of space. So kind of like what the rebases are. So when they make a profit, then they send a little bit of that profit back in, in the form of space back to its holders of space. Once the DAO is fully established, your token will grant you voting rights for decisions that impact the DAO and the treasury. Until that time, the treasury will initially be invested in DGEN approved avalanche based projects according to an allocation set by the team that part hella scary here's why dgen stands for degenerate and i had to look up like what that meant in form like in terms of DeFi. so right here degenerate gambler that's the abbreviation used for Used often when talking about yield chasers in DeFi who go for unaudited projects. Unaudited projects meaning, all right, cool, Certec. Undertakes a Certec audit to enhance DAO security. So basically what they would do is they would take um, they would take a team from Certec and then they would investigate uh, the, the DAO. And I don't know if this is actually one of them, but, you know, it's... 
again, do your own research for what is a good certification governing body or whatever for, for DAOs. But again, this is just to highlight a point that I'm trying to make. They would take a team and then they would investigate something like Vortex. So they would find the people that's behind it. Um, they would look at the contracts to see if the contracts are legit. Uh, they would they would get information from the people, like maybe their identity or their plans, future, stuff like that. And that would be, them. It, one, the governing body can do the audit on their own to look at the contracts by themselves to see if it's like a rug or not. And then they will state in like either Twitter or whatever that, you know, it's possibly fraud or something or whatever like that. Or the DAOs themselves can pay to be audited by these governing bodies, which will give them a little bit more credibility in, uh, uh, in in, uh, in in what they're doing, basically. So the people that come along that see that, okay, they've been audited, it's more likely that they're not a rug and that they won't pull all the money uh, and basically leaving, leaving their holders, their stakers holding the bag or whatever. So projects that aren't audited have are at higher risk to be rug pulled because nobody knows who the fucking team is or if the contracts are even legit. That's what the whole DGEN, DGEN space is like, basically aping in. Only a monkey would jump into a project without doing their own research. Basically, that's what I did. I aped in, into Vortex because just testing it out just to see what would happen. And that's stupid. It's basically just gambling with money. But what, uh, what I'm getting down to is Vortex, their treasury, will initially invest in other DGEN approved avalanche based projects. So like a DGEN approved project, it could be like Life DAO, which really seems rug pulley to me. But I'm also in this as well. So it's, uh, you know, that's a whole nother thing. And I, I got into this with like $63. Like I bonded $63 of MEM into this. So whatever. I, I kind of figured that, okay, if I lose that 63 bucks, I'll, I'll lose it. I, I got it from selling pop figures so it's whatever that's nothing to me uh this 300 something that i got into vortex on the other hand that's uh, i don't really want to lose that but you know whatever it happens so that's basically how they're getting their treasury is they're getting into other avalanche based dials to make money for their treasury and it's in their documentation so yeah at least they're honest, right? At least they're honest about it. Okay, so here's the Vortex vortex chart. As you can see, it started at $54. The highest it went was 60, 60, 86, 60, And it shot all the way down here to $35, which I get, got in at 38. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, I think I get in like 38 right here, and then it went down some more. So I'm hoping that in that time frame, it'll do something like what Life did, which, you know, the very bottom was 20 bucks, And then it shot all the way up here to $251. Yeah, and then it just did some bouncing around uh, up here for, for days. Like, let me see, seven... Yeah, so, so in four days, like that's nothing but rebases going all the way up. Sorry, that was my dog. Uh, four, like four days rebasing going all the way up here. So if you got out up here and then got back in and then stayed in. So yeah, yeah. That's, I'm hoping that's what, what happens with Vortex. With this $220 trillion APY. Uh, yeah, 46 day runway. Let me show you where I am staked. I'm staked here at where? Oh, here it is. 5.7813. And this right here, this is the old contract I was telling you about with the AVAX thing. They're getting they're getting rid of this one. So uh, currently, if you jump in, you will have to stay staked for two APOCs. Uh, yeah. APOCs? EPOCs or whatever. Rebase, rebase periods. Two rebase periods before you can... Uh, take your money out or uh, keep it staked. So, yeah, it's protected. I also ended up buying an additional 
to something in space because I had even more AVEX that I did that I forgot that I had, which is like eighty six dollars. So I can't stake this until the warm up period is is gone. Otherwise, it'll basically try to replace. It'll kick this out to my wallet and then replace it with this. So that's why I'm keeping this in there. So uh, so yeah, that's that's that. Let's look at the last thing that everyone loves to see is fucking calculator for some reason. It's, it's unreasonable. Uh, let me see here. All right. So what I currently have in there after. If it's if everything stays the same for 25 days, which it never will, nothing stays the same in these projects for for a whole month. I'll get two thousand dollars off of two hundred and two dollars, fifty bucks. So in 13 days, I'll get seven hundred and ninety-five dollars in 13 days. Wait, seven days. No, oh, five hundred dollars. Cool, that'd be dope. Uh, 30 days would be 30. Come on, shit. 30. All right. Almost $3,000 in 30 days off of my initial $202, which that is not right. Hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Because I'm missing, I'm missing uh, two extra... That's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be like 700 and 7.8 something like that time or whatever. So when I'm able to put that in there at $300, I'll get $4,000 back at the end of 30 days. So that'll be great if that happens. I'll, I'll take out my initial investment. I'll put um, $1,000 into Time Wonderland again. And that will basically give me my return back plus some. And then I'll keep the rest in here and just let that shit ride and see what happens. So uh, I will be updating this every day, showing you guys my rewards on Vortex. If you want to see my rewards on life, let me know. I will show that as well because I'm, I'm going to be bonded out in a one day, 20 hours. So in one day, 20 hours, I'll be, well, basically two days. I'll be bonded out of that and then I'll be able to stake said uh said uh life tokens with their <laughs> fucking stupid ass apy good lord that's dumb <laughs> it makes no sense yeah this is yeah this whole fucking rug man uh i don't know i don't know what life is then at that point like uh, this has to go down this has has to go down jeez but yeah if if this if this stays live for like 30 days that will be so dope anyway yeah i'll get i'll get into this later if y'all want to see that let me let me know in the comments below uh like comment subscribe if you want to um but hit the bell notification icon if you want to see more of the content more tutorials when they come out and more of my progress when it happens anyway it's been long enough i will catch you guys later peace out y'all